What's up guys, this is Cody here. And today I'm gonna to be showing you a brand new updated tweet called Hide Me X. Now if you guys watch my perfect jailbroken setup videos, in every single one of those, I'm using a tweet called Hide Me 8. So Hide Me X is the iOS 9 updated version of that tweak. So you're definitely gonna to wanna to check this out. I highly recommend it, just because it's going to allow you to hide basically any UI element on your device and really just kind of hone down that look that you're looking for. But let's go ahead and jump to the settings here. I'm going to show you everything that you can do with this. So if we go into the settings and we scroll down here to hide me X, we'll tap on that and open it up. First of all, you do just want to enable this and then you have a configuration right here. Of course, we have two other tabs for support and the creators of this tweak. But if we tap on configuration, this is going to be all the settings panels that you have. Uh, that you can change independently of one another. And Time Machine down here is going to allow you to reset your settings to a previous configuration that you have already set. And right down here you also have Advanced which is basically just going to allow you to enable debugging. But right here you can see if we just tap on Alerts that we have a ton of options for suppressing alerts. So you can suppress Airplane Alerts, Cellular Data, Edge, Game Center, uh, location improved, low power, low space, all this good stuff. If you just don't want those notifications, one of those that I don't ever want is the Game Center Alerts because that thing is so incredibly loud. I don't know how they set that up, but it like terrifies me every single time that it goes off. So I went ahead and enabled that and also did uh, Shake to Undo because I have never used that feature whatsoever and it always pops up on my device. So right down here if we tap on animations you can see here that you can actually change the animation speed. So you can also allow touch during animation. So basically while something is animating you can actually touch on the screen and continue doing what you were doing without having to wait for the animation to finish. And then if we go into app switcher right here you can see that you can pop from the side you just have that toggle on. You can also enable some uh, haptics right here so the commit haptic and the initial haptic. Right down here for the switcher cards, we have dim inactive app cards. I'm actually going to toggle this on. I'm going to show you what this does uh, once we go through the entire thing. But you also have the dimming color tint, so you can tap on this. And basically, you get a color wheel right here with opacity and intensity right down here at the bottom, which you can slide around. Or you can just type in your hex code right there if you want to. Uh, but I don't know any hex colors off the top of my head. So we're just going to use black, and I'm going to show you what that does. But you can also remove inactive app cards. So basically, if the app is inactive, it's not going to show up in the app switcher. You can also hide icons and labels as well. So usually when you, uh, let's actually go back here and open that up. So you can see you can just hide that right up there at the top if you want to do that. Uh, coming down here, you also have switcher wallpaper, so you can change up the blur style of the switcher wallpaper as well as the blur amount right there. You also have the saturation amount, so if we tap on that, you have a lot of different options. Desaturate, desaturate light, medium, medium strong, strong, extra strong, all kinds of good stuff right there. And uh, you also have a darkening amount, so you can t slide this up and down basically just depending on your preference. Uh, coming down here to the next section, we have switcher home screen card wallpaper. So you can change up the blur style here, the blur amount, the saturation amount, and the darkening amount as well. But popping back out here, we can go into our control center, and this is going to allow you to do a lot of different stuff to your control center, obviously. So if there's a specific section that you want to hide, like airdrop, brightness, music controls, quick launch, or settings, then you can do so all right here. This is not something that I usually hide. Sometimes I will hide the music controls, but I've been using that actually quite a bit in the control center lately, so I'm going to leave it uh, toggled off here. Then coming down here, we also have disable on the lock screen. If you want to do that, you can hide the separators. You have high darkening view. You also have uh, round top corners. Let's actually toggle this on. I'm going to show you what that does. Basically, when you slide up the uh, control center, it's not going to darken in the background. But we also have round top corners, which I have toggled on. I'll show you that here in just a second. As well as if you want uh, circle buttons, you can toggle that on. Or if you want square buttons, toggle that on. You also have the old control center bounce right there if you want to toggle that on. Uh, coming right down here, we also have a grabber, so you can use a custom color, you can change the grabber color, you can change the grabber opacity. I actually have the grabber toggled off, so this isn't going to take any effect, but you can change up the color if you want to right here. You also have the background color, so this is going to basically change the main color of your control center right here. So you just toggle on this and you get the exact same little color wheel that we got before. And then right down here, you can change up the uh, background opacity. Now keep in mind that in all of these sections you have a reset control center settings or a reset whatever section that you're in settings right there. So it's going to basically put everything back to default if for whatever reason uh, you actually screw something up and you don't like it or you just want to start over. But coming right down here we also have the dock so you can change up the blur style for the dock right here. So you have transparent, very white, less white, normal all kinds of different stuff that you can do right here. So there, you can see that this tweak has a ton of different tweaks 
within it. It's not just about hiding stuff, it's about customizing everything. So you're not hiding your dock necessarily right here. You can with transparency, but at the same time, you can change up the blur with this as well. Now coming here to the folders, we have hide icon blur, hide icon grid, hide icon folder blur, hide open folder title. So basically, if you use folders, this is gonna help you uh, customize what those look like. And for me, I don't really use folders that much, so I don't have anything basically toggled on here. But you also have folder behavior, so you can allow nested folders as well as pinch to close, which I have toggled on. I think I may have one folder in here, and I'll show you that here in just a second. But coming down here to force touch, we also have a ton of different things. We can hide the wallpaper blur, which I actually like the wallpaper blur, so I'm not gonna toggle that on. You can dim the icons instead of blur, which I think the blur looks better, but I'm gonna show you what this looks like here uh, we also have the dim icon alpha which you can slide up and down you can colorize the blur if you want to do that and then you can uh, change up the corner radius the icon margin row height row width all that good stuff as well as subtitle color and title color right here so let's pop back out into configuration once again and we're gonna go into the home screen so you can hide your page dots you can also uh, for the spotlight disable the blur you can completely disable it you can disable it from the side or you can disable it from the top. Now I have it disabled from the side and this is going to allow you to install a tweak like Mobius which is going to allow you to swipe from the first page to the last page which is a really nice tweak that I love to have. We also come down here to wallpaper so you can disable the wallpaper zoom, you can hide the wallpaper gradient which I'll toggle on here, you can also suppress parallax. So popping back out again, we have the icons, and right up here at the top we have the app hide. So this is going to allow you to hide any application that you want to that you have installed on your device. You basically just toggle on one and it's going to hide it. So for instance, if we wanted to hide, let's say the app store right here, and we'll go back, and then once we respring, the app store is not gonna be on my springboard. But also coming back down here, we have icon appearance, so we can colorize the icon badges. So if we toggle that on, it's basically gonna take the uh, prominent color in your apps and change that badge to that app color, which is a nice look. Uh, right down here, we also have hide all icon badges. So if you don't want icon badges at all, you can toggle that on. You have hide only folder badges if you use folders. And coming down here, I have toggled on hide all icon labels. So that's basically just the name of the app icon on your springboard. I think it just looks a little bit better as long as you know what uh, your app icons are if you're theming them. Uh, which can sometimes be kind of difficult uh, to find, but if you know what they are, then you can go ahead and toggle that on. I think it just looks a whole lot cleaner. Coming down here, we also have the uh, hide docked icon labels only, as well as hide folder labels, icon label shadows, tapped icon shadow, as well as the blue update dot or the orange beta dot. I have both of those hidden as well. And you can come down here, you can also disable the icon jittering. So if we do that, basically when you get into wiggle mode, the uh, icons are not going to wiggle. They'll just basically stay there so you can tap on them. But coming down here again, we have lock screen, which I have a few things toggled on. You can see I have the hide uh, control center and notification center grabber, but you can come up here to the uh, passcode screen. You can cancel the or hide the cancel button. You can also hide the emergency button. And for the grabbers, you can hide the camera, but you can keep it functional or you can completely disable it and hide it right there. And coming down here to the date label, you can hide the date. You can use a custom date size and then just change up the text size right here. You also have hide percentage charge if you wanna do that. Coming down here to clock label, you can disable the seconds, hide the time clock, which I just, I mean, I need the clock on the lock screen so it's not something that I'm gonna hide, but this is gonna be helpful for when you guys want to you know, apply a lock screen and it has a, obviously a clock on the lock screen right there, this is going to allow you to hide that so they're not overlapping, which obviously is something very important to do. Uh, coming down here to slide unlock, I have basically all of that hidden so you can hide the chevron, hide the slide to unlock, you can change up or hide the, uh, the glint, so basically just that highlight as it goes across the slide to unlock text. And you can also toggle on no delay in showing, but I have it completely disabled basically, so that's not gonna matter anyways. But here we have the lock screen tint. You can use a custom alpha just by toggling that on and then slide this up and down right here. You have the lock screen blur, so this is going to blur out the lock screen, which is really nice. I wish this was on the wallpaper as well, so you could uh, do the wallpaper blur, that would be really nice. But then coming down here, we also have a custom slide to unlock text custom touch ID for the try again option. So if it doesn't recognize your uh, fingerprint, then you can basically put whatever text you want to there. You can also change the date text as well as the uh, inner passcode right here. But bouncing out one more time, two more times actually, we have the notification center here. So you can disable it everywhere. You can show on the first swipe, which is something that I always want toggled on just because 
it is incredibly annoying to have to swipe twice in order to get either the control center or the notification center here. It's just a pain. But down here we have appearance changes so we can hide the bottom separator, we can hide section tab, status bar, today's date, or we can sort by apps. And then here we can change the uh, use custom text, which I'm gonna to toggle off here. But coming back, we have the status bar, which is something that I always have stuff hidden in. Uh, you can see you can hide this on the lock screen or you can uh, make it the same size everywhere. So basically it's gonna be the same size on the lock screen and on your springboard. But coming down here, we have hide individual elements. So basically this is going to allow you to hide all that good stuff up there that you don't need to see. So I have the hide icon, uh, airplane icon, just because I hardly ever have airplane mode on. It's probably not a good thing to hide that just because you don't know what's going on if, you, if you're in airplane mode. But I also have alarm icon hidden as well as the assistant icon, the battery icon. So you can see that I have the battery icon hidden as well as the uh, percent symbol for my battery. So it's basically just really minimalistic right there. Uh, coming down here, I also have the carrier text hidden. As you can see right there, it doesn't say AT&T. But coming down here, we can also change up the lowercase am, pm. You can also use a custom carrier text if you want to do that just by tapping right here, toggle that on. And then coming down here, we also have the time format preview. So you can change this up if you want to, or you can use a custom time format, which I have toggled on, but I didn't change anything. So it's just kind of blank right now. But uh, coming down here, you can actually see that there's a lot of uh, options or not options but instructions on how to fill out some of this stuff so you can read through that if you're having any type of issue uh, with that but bouncing out to the uh, configuration page once again that's basically it so let's go ahead and respring our device here and those few changes that I made are gonna take effect and I'll kind of show you around of what's changed so right off the bat here, you can see that we don't have the Chevron. We don't have the slide to unlock text with that glint. That's all hidden right there. We also don't have the control center grabber or the notification center grabber. And if we swipe up here, you can see that I'm allowed to uh, access that on the lock screen. And I have the nice little corners rounded off right there. So that looks really nice as well as the color has changed due to hide me X. Now, if we go ahead and open this up, you'll notice here that I have the colorized badges right here and that's all due to hide me X as well as no icon labels on any of the icons right here, which I think just looks really nice. So here, if we swipe over to a folder, if I have one of these, uh, here's one. Okay. So we go ahead and open that up and then we can pinch to close. That's going to close it. We also have the force touch. We've changed a few things there. So if we go ahead and uh, force touch on Cydia, you can see that rather than doing the blurred background, we have a dimmed background right there. You also notice if we go into wiggle mode that basically nothing's wiggling. It's just going to allow us to close out or delete these applications. Now I know it's hard to tell, but the hide wallpaper gradient has taken effect. Basically it puts a gradient over your wallpaper. So your icons pop out a little bit more, but if you want the true color of your wallpaper in the background, on your springboard, then you wanna hide that wallpaper gradient using this tweak. Now, you also notice if we slide to the left or the right, swipe to the right, you can see that we don't have that spotlight over there. Now, I don't have Mobius installed, but I would install Mobius, and this would allow me to go back to the very last page. And that's basically it for Hide Me X, and I definitely recommend checking it out just because it's good for hardcore themers that are trying to, you know, get the exact look that they're looking for, or just for the basic guys that, you know, they just throw on a theme, but they just really don't want to have icon labels. Then you can download this tweak and hide that. But I mean, you can get very granular as I showed you with this tweak. And when I start up my jailbroken setup videos again, you're definitely going to need this tweak in order to match that look and get it just right. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think about this tweak in the comments below. Of course, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you smack that like button because it really helps me out. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.